So I was going through the list of what homeless folks need most, and uh, employment is something that we all need, but I'm a project man at this time because of the cybercrime identity theft fraud and now constant hacking of my computer. And openly, I'm a marketing man. I'm a marketing strategist. I'm a political consultant, and some of my ideas have absolutely been used by presidents. And uh, we also sometimes need transportation. For most homeless, they need a bus pass that can be bought for $20 for a month or $100, I believe, for the year. For someone like me, a very quiet moped might work for me if it's got a pull in the back, meaning a little bitty um, place to put my things. And that would be marvelous. Uh, scooters are for people who have those special licenses. A car of an elderly person that they don't need it anymore and it's not safe for them to drive anymore. And for a person like me, obviously the title would have to be passed over. And that's something that families can donate within their churches to people to help make them great. But obviously on top of that, then communities around that person who's giving up their car, like I've told the story many times that I finally said to my dad, no more driving. None of my siblings would do that, but I was behind him when he clipped a car driving in my vehicle, I think with my spouse, and I said, no more. It's time for mom to drive. And we took his keys that day. He was upset because he loved to drive, but that was okay. He accepted it for me, and I don't think he would have accepted it from any of the family members who were unwilling to say it to him because they just were too lazy and didn't want to drive him. Uh, and we also need fellowship groups. And a fellowship group is a group that we're completely safe in, that people aren't trying to sexually assault us in, they're not trying to spiritually abuse us in, they're not trying to manipulate us in their versions of God in, and openly they're not trying to harm us with their little vi viable calls to police and mental health and all this bullshit that you people tell yourself about your rights to me, because anything you've done to me, I'm going to fucking do back to you.